Hello and welcome to all. In this video, we will learn about document types in SAP FI. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to our My Support Solutions YouTube channel, then click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get the latest updates after every new video upload. This is totally free. Like and share this video, share the knowledge, sharing is caring. Now let us start. A document type will classify, first of all, the document type helps to in classify business transactions. We can classify or distinguish document types in SAP. For example, transactions like DR for customer service, DZ for customer payment, KZ for vendor payment, etc. We have to mention document type in header section of the document. To differentiate business transactions, you can specify each document type in SAP to a type of account that a particular transaction can use. For example, AB document type allows posting to all accounts. DA document type allows posting to customers. Second, field status document type is also assigned to field status at document header level. It decides which columns field is required, suppress, optional. Then account type. Document type is also assigned to the account type. For example, vendor, customer, GL account, material or asset. We can use document type for reverse posting and batch input. Now, these are some common document types KZ for vendor payment, KG for credit memo, DR for customer invoice, DZ for customer payment, SA for GI entry, AA for asset posting, AN for net asset posting. And these are document, uh, sorry, these are account types A for asset, D for customer, K for vendor, M material, and S for general ledger accounts. Now, the number range for document type. The number range for document type is two character code. It can be defined for each fiscal year and it can be defined for each company code and a period until when the number range is valid. Document type. We can create a document type via T code OBA7. We'll do the practical regarding this. Now put SPRO over here, press enter, click on IMG button, click on financial accounting, financial accounting global settings, click on document, click on document header. And execute define document types. So these are the uh, document types which are defined in the system. We will create it on new entries or we can copy the details if required. So I will click on new and click on new entries. Give the code for document type. Here we have to mention our number range. I will click on number range information. Here give your company code, our company code is 2018, click on the change intervals, click on the insert interval, here we have to give two digit code number, I will give 20, year 2018, from number range and to number range, press enter and save the record. So. In this way, we can create our number range for uh, document type. System is in process, so I will click on continue. Number range 20. In reverse document type, so this is a document type in which system posts if we 
reverse the created document okay then authorization group here you can define authorization for every document type we can set authorization checks for posting documents changing documents document line item display etc then in document types allowed uh, in sap accounts are divided into uh, this five things assets customer vendor material and gl accounts okay so uh, we can restrict document type posting to specific account type by using these fields for example posting related to customer and material should not get posted in vendor document type okay so now uh, here we will create our uh, we take on the vendor so when so that we need a entry only allowed for account type vendor now net document type in case of vendor invoice system post net amount after deducting cash discount then in in this option of a customer vendor check system allows us to enter only one vendor and one customer in the document now in case of intra company postings system allow us to post cross company code entries using this document enter trading partner you can enter partner company manually you can enter partner company manually this is relevant to inter company postings now here we can enter default exchange rate okay for the document type so right now i have given document number 20 and uh, i have select vendor as our account type allowed and i will save the record we'll take back now and here we have to give a description for vendor okay i will save the record so this is a procedure to create a document type in sap efi i am very much thankful for watching my video and if you have any suggestions uh, or queries please feel free to comment